Hey everybody, it's been quite a while, and I know it is has been, and a lot of things have been going on in the world. I lost a couple of family members that, um, you know, it's not been fun, and then I found out um, my one of my good friends that I grew up with, his mother just recently was in a hospital for a heart attack, and I couldn't be there. I try to be as much as I can on uh, on Facebook uh, Messenger and voice chat and video, you know, as much as I can. But it's been it's been tough. You probably hear some noise in the background, and I do apologize for that. It's because there is I'm running out some uh, internet connection here and some hosting. You know, people drop all their stuff. They want to host it here. I'm good with that. You know, I can't. I told them I can't guarantee it's up 24 hours, but they're okay with that because they know me, and then they do trust me that everything will be as, you know, as kosher as it can get. So, right now, what I got in front of me is an original Xbox, and what you see to the left here is a new laptop, and I will explain that in the next video. Just right now, we're going to concentrate on this Xbox. We are going to do something a little bit different in this video. We like to take old things and, you know, make them into new. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this old Xbox and I'm going to make it into a new computer. Yep, this is going to be my desktop computer. I'm going to have a little fun with this, shall we? So, this thing has never been taken apart, never been touched, nothing. It is all original. It also has the original pads on the bottom of it, the original stickers. Nothing has been touched whatsoever on this uh, Xbox. So what I, I want to do is I'm going to mask this off, the stickers, because I'm not going to peel them off. I've seen a lot of people do this to try to peel it off and, uh, you know, damages them. But these are somewhat not in great shape, as you can see. Some of the labels faded off, but that's okay. It is original, and I don't want to damage it any more than what I, uh, what I want to do. It is, says Microsoft Corporation on there. And it does give a serial number and the date of 2005, 524, 2005, manufacturing date. Got a serial number, product number, and everything else, which is all great. So how about we do this? How about we take it apart and see what's inside? And then we can figure out what kind of motherboard can I go, you know, with this. A lot of people are, you know, having problems in the world right now with um, grabbing motherboard CPUs and, uh, you know, Everything pretty much has to do with a computer. Motherboard, CPUs, memory, um, video cards. Cases are still around. There's a lot of cases still around. Some of the companies are catching up with the uh, CPUs as well as, um, as, as well as there are some video cards now being released. There are new CPUs being released. Matter of fact, um... I forgot who is starting to now make uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is making CPUs, if I'm not mistaken. I, that's what I've been hearing. And I think that'd be awesome. I think from what I heard in the past that they are, they did, I'm sorry, they did make uh, CPUs, but they stopped to make only GPUs. Wow, that is a long bolt. That is a hex bolt, and that is pretty long. You could tell um, this thing was not, um, I don't know, I don't know how long this thing is. It looks like maybe about five inches, four inches, maybe four, four and a half inches, between four and five inches. Wow. So let's take these out and then we're going to try to pop this cover off somehow. I'm not sure how. I'm in a, I'm in a basement here because I've been working down here, so I thought I'd do the video down here. And but there's a bunch of noise. I know, I know. Nothing I can do about it because I'm hosting computers, I'm hosting some servers, to try to make rent, whatnot. And it's it's been rough because I'm going back and forth, you know, from one state to another to try to keep this place up and running, as well as be home with my family and take care of them, take care of my father, my mother. My wife, everybody, pretty much, the whole, the whole kind of movie. So, can we take this apart? How do we take this thing apart? Is there a way to pop this off? Stop damaging it. Is there another sticker? I mean, another screw. 
I don't feel any other, uh, uh oh, there's one. Oh no, there is another one that's under here, under this, and I don't want to damage it. So let's see if we can try to take this off a little bit without damaging it. I'm sorry if you can't see it all in the shot. I'm taking an X-Acto knife to try to peel it up without kind of damaging the sticker a little bit if I can. Because I want to preserve it as much as I can. So let's see if we can try to unscrew this without damaging it. There we go. Maybe we can peel this off without really damaging it and so that way we can paint it still. You'll probably take off the other ones without damaging either. So I I did peel this up without no problem. I'm gonna see if we can take it apart. There's another long bolt. Or all same size, thank God. Because it is very, very hard to get. I mean to tell on laptops these days or desktops. The different size screws, but back then, when it, I mean, not laptops and desktops, I'm sorry, gaming systems, newer ones, they got all different size bolts, whatnot. I did manage to take it off without, no problem. I am very happy. I'm going to put that to the side so that way I don't um, end up uh, destroying that. Now, let's see if we can take this off. Please, come off. Without damaging it, but it doesn't seem to want to come apart. I don't feel any other screws. So how's this guy supposed to come off? Are there any screws on the side? No, I don't see any screws on the side. Sorry if I'm not getting in a shot, I'm just trying to figure out how to take this off without destroying it. Maybe I should have watched the YouTube uh, videos on how to take it apart without destroying it, right? I have no clue. Is this... Somehow it's supposed to come off. That doesn't smell any good. <laughs> tell you that much. Oh, there's another screw. Oh no. Try to peel this off without destroying it either. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to have any success taking this thing apart. Pretty much just destroying it. Now well, I'm just gonna have to cut it out. Ah, uh, didn't really want to do that. It really got you good on this one. On this screw. I'll try to preserve it if I can. But uh, it's just a moot point, really. As uh, Harry said on some of his videos, uh, that's another. Um, friend of mine that's on uh, YouTube. Shout out to Harry. I'll link his uh, channel below. He does some great work with Arduino and LEDs. Uh, he's now playing with the uh, Pico now. Ha! Ah, we're in like Flynn. Yeah, shout out again. Shout out to Harry. Wow. That's actually not bad. It's got a little rust on it, but the housing is in great shape. Um, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm going to do it for the third time and say shout out to Harry Wiggum. I Hopefully I pronounced your last name right. I do apologize. Harry's a good friend of mine. He's got a YouTube channel, an awesome one. So let's see if we can try to pull this out without no problem. I don't know if there's any screws. It looks like there's some screws holding this down. We're going to have to get my toolkit out. And... See if we can identify what screw this is. I got a new cheap. This was, believe it or not, fifteen dollars on Amazon. 
Um, if I find the link of where I bought it from on Amazon, uh, I'll post that too as well. I did get this on Amazon. It was a um, very, very cheap set. But for what it could do, I'm very happy for, with it. So we need to pop some of these screws out. And hopefully that is it. That is not the screw fork. I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest. I'll try to get the other big screwdriver back in here and see if it is one of these bits. It's just a, a weird bit that I never saw before in my life, but... Ah, that would do it right there. It is one of these type of screws. It's a, a hex, but it's got like an indent in the middle of it going straight down like on an angle. So it's really weird. Um, I haven't saw them. I have saw it in the past a long, long time ago, but maybe back when these were these screws were out back then, but not now. That looks like that's all the screws right now. I think we'll pop this guy out. Might have to uh, take all this out. Ah, there's another screw right here. Let's see if we can try to zoom out just a little bit, shall we? There we go. Hopefully that's a... Uh, see that better now? I'm taking off this IDE ribbon cable. Technically, we don't need it anymore. Well, we are gonna, we're gonna um, not reuse it, but I just need to know where everything goes. I'm gonna put it back. And we got this Molex connector, which is locked in pretty good. Size of hard drive, I wonder what this is, because they usually you can tell which hard drive size this is. 16 head, this is new. Somebody quote me on this in the comments that if they know what um, size the drive that originally came in. This might be an 80 gigabyte. Or it might be a 40 gigabyte drive. I'm not sure. Well, the reason why I'm taking this apart is because when I got this, it was dead. I did try it. I got nothing from it. It is completely gone. So that's why I'm taking it apart. Yes, I could probably get it restored. So this, um, there's honestly, there's no reason to do that. I, I don't, it's not, it's not even worth even, um, trying to get it restored. I, um, I don't think it's the power supply, to be honest, but it might be. I, I don't want to restore it because I want to mod it. So I know a lot of people are going to hate me for that, but, you know, like they say, it's all good. This is a Seagate drive. And I cannot still find the size of the drive itself. So, it does take 5 volt at 0 0.57 amps and 12 volt at 0 0.22 amps. So, 220 milliamps and 570 milliamps. Not a lot of power this thing takes. But, back then, there was a lot of, a lot of drives that take a lot of power. Apparently, this is not one of them. Now, the interesting thing about this drive is there's no eject button on the Xbox. It looks like a, just a plain CD drive right here. Um, plain drive uh, that goes in here, and there's no eject. The eject actually comes from a special connector that goes on the front of here. There is an eject button, and there's a power button on the front of this. I'll show you in just a minute, but... There is none on here. And the jack button comes from the front of the uh, Xbox, which is interesting. So we're going to put this to the side for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to start disassembling pretty much everything out of it. I want to take everything off of here and pull it all out. And see what we can do with the system itself. 
We are going to be using the front panel on this. We're going to change the front connectors and from the Xbox uh, co connector into the uh, to USB. So we are going. To, I am going to do that. The funny thing is, the front connectors on these, the same color and code that's on this Xbox uh, front uh, controllers connectors, are same as USB. Not the same pinout, um, but the same color wiring scheme, which is very interesting. Red, black, white, yellow, uh, green, and red. Which is very, very interesting. Um, yeah. So let's take out this motherboard. I know I'm going to find probably a lot of, either a lot of dirt under this. Maybe some rust. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to figure out what motherboard I could fit in here that's low profile. That will give me enough power to, to do a retro gaming system. Um, I'm sorry, not a, re not a retro gaming system. What am I saying? Uh... I'm thinking of Xbox gaming, that's why. No, what I want to do is give me enough power to, you know, do things online. I, I'm not expecting to edit anything like videos, 4K stuff, and whatnot. But what I am expecting is to at least go online, do what I need to do, be online. You got a two pin, two pin fa uh, pan, fan power, excuse me, fan power in the back here. Yeah, I'm at least trying to get online and do what I need to do to, you know, what email, search online, Google a lot, YouTube a lot, at least watch some YouTube videos, email, some Facebook probably, most likely, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to take the motherboard out. We're going to look at the motherboard in just a little bit. I just want to take everything apart first, show you the case. And we'll come back to the motherboard in just a minute also. So I didn't find, so far I'm not finding much rust. There is a little bit of rust here and there. And all in all, it looks very good. So when I powered this up, um, I did get power out of it. So I did get the motherboard to eject the disc. But I'm not getting anything off the video at all. No sound, no video. So that could be, you know, a couple of things that could be causing this problem. All right, so here's the power supply. We'll go over that in just a minute as well. And we got a little shroud down here for the power supply. I might, if the power supply is strong enough, I might reuse the power supply. So here goes the uh, guard here, the plastic to go underneath the uh, power supply. If we can get at least about 100 watts out of there, out of the power supply, then I am going to reuse the power supply. If the power supply still works and I can get all the voltages and everything out of it. I'm taking off the front cover as well. I mean the front uh, panel pieces so I can get this metal shroud out. It's going to have to be scrubbed down and repainted as well. So that way it doesn't rust anymore. So we're going to probably re we're going to reuse it maybe. I'm not sure yet. All right. So what do we got here? Fans. Any fan holes, fan screw holes, or nothing? We're holding this down? No. I don't see anything to holding this down. The fan. I don't know why it's not coming off. Oh, this looks like a couple clips on the side here. A couple clips on there. And sorry, my hands are in the way. You can't see that really well. But there's two clips on the side of each one of these holding this down. Now we take the fan out. And it's still going to give me some headache problems, huh? There we go. And it is a fan. It is a Delta fan. I'm... Pretty sure that, yep, Delta. Made in China. Woo, back in the 90s, still made in China. This fan was made in China. This is not a replacement. This looks like the original. So this this system has not been touched whatsoever at all, which I'm 
very, very happy that it was not touched. We don't need to touch. No. All right, did take screws off the front of this, but I'm not. There we go. Let's take off the uh, front panel pieces. All right, these are the Xbox panel pieces. I do have new ones of these because I did repair another system at one time that the front controllers, three out of the four, were broken, so I did replace these. So I do have an extra set for the left and the right that can probably put it back in there if I need to later on, which I'm not going to need to, but... And here's the left side here. I believe they're identical in every which way because they... Because they mirror each other. So, to a outer, actually, that's interesting. They say A2, and this is C4. Ah. But they are identical in every which way. Let's see if we can try to pull this out of here now, this metal piece. I'm not sure actually how it really had to pull this out. Think, you guys think it's going to be a, a hassle for me? Maybe. So the front of it's locked in pretty good. I'll try to pop out this front clip here. There we go. I'm trying to pop, uh, pop out this front panel, but it doesn't really seem to be popping out. Maybe I should have used gloves. Too late now, right? How do I pop this metal piece out? Well, it looks like we've got to get another screwdriver out of here. See if we can pop this uh, piece out. Well, this got a right angle piece to it. Check that out. I never saw that. I guess we're not. I guess we can use that as a pry tool. So that's what it looks like it's going to take. Thing out. There's no screws holding this up, so which I'm happy about, but pulling this up is definitely a hand job. No way it's not coming up, it's not letting me pull it up. Oh, uh, this might be for another day. I might have to do that part. <sighs> it feels like it, like glue down. Keep pulling on it, it's going to definitely bend it up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. I can't get so. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Maybe. That could be why. Some clips here, I think. It looks like clips. I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but this looks like clips. It definitely smells like smoke. I'll tell you that much.
Guess what? We're gonna end up ending this. I'm not gonna be good. I can't get that off right now, so I'm without destroying it. So I'm gonna come back to this, you know, in the next video. For right now, we're just gonna take uh, leave it to the side here. I want to go over the uh, power supply because this is discharged. It has been off for days and days, so I'm pretty sure it's it's discharged. Um, there's no bulging cap. I believe there is power. I do want to test this out, but this is a standard, mostly standard um, ATX power supply. So I do want to test this out, and if I can get about 100 watts out of it, I might have to take it to a friend of mine. He tests a lot of stuff, clean power supplies, and see if, if it's really worth it um, to see if. Ah, here we go. This actually tells you the uh, what it has on here. Plus 5 volt SW. Auxiliary, 3.6 amps, plus 12 volt switch auxiliary, 0 0.8 amps. Then we got 5 volts, 13 amps, and 12 volt switched. I'm not sure exactly what that is. You, you probably can't even make that out. So I'm not going to zoom in too far. But that's what it says up here. It gives you everything you need to know. 100 to 127 volt input, 2.3 amps, 50 to 60 hertz. So if this is correct, is that 13 amps? Um, that's roughly about, let's see if I can look that up real quick because I don't remember exactly. Can't get my phone out because that's what I'm recording with. Just looking it up real quick. So if we got 12 volt at 13, 12 volt at 13.6 amps. That's 163 wa uh, watts. So now if we put 5 volts. At 68 watts at 5 volts. So I'm not sure if that's. Um, it just says plus 12 volt switched, but it doesn't say what's the uh, amperage on it, but it does say 5 volt 13.6 amps. So I'm guessing that um, that the 5 volt up, well, above that says 5 volt SW auxiliary 3.6 amps. So I'm guessing that's what I'm guessing is that it's three and a half amps on five volt and thirteen point six amps on the uh, on the on the twelve volt. Oh, that that's what an Xbox controller is. It actually looks pretty clean. It and it does power up, so I'm pretty sure I could probably reuse this with the new PC because the motherboard I want to put in there only takes about forty watts. So I'm going to have to re-pin this connector to what I needed to and probably um, solder on some more 12-volt connecting on it because I'm going to have to and extend this to a solder um, to put that on her. And actually, now let's go check out the uh, motherboard for the, uh, for the Xbox and see what we got here. So this is the... Motherboard. Uh, take the fan off of there. This is your standard uh, Xbox. And here, I believe this is the video processor. This is the uh, CPU. So I'm hoping, I'm really, really, really hoping, so I'm not putting out so much power on there, that I can, uh, I could fit the new motherboard kind of near where this, one's, where this one was. And not have to modify it too much. Because... The one I want to put in there is exactly about this height. Right, it goes right about I say about this height up to up to this little one. It doesn't go to as high as this, but it goes as, as this one right here. So I might be able to use the original housing for the um, hard drive 
into your ROM. This one right here. So I might be able to use the original here. I'm not sure yet. If I don't reuse this one, I'm okay with that. But that definitely the hard drive housing, I definitely want to try to reuse if I can. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to probably modify this just a little bit to put the hard drive in. If I don't fit any of that in and it doesn't fit in, I'm okay with that. Because it's going to um, definitely save me some more room if I don't put that in there. So I, I'm definitely going to put a low powered CPU. It's going to be a two core four. I'm sorry. Yeah, two core four thread processor. Uh, I believe it's an ASRock board I have. It's really low power and it was cheap. I just picked it up not that long ago. So I do have that uh, motherboard I'm going to put in here. Who knows? Maybe I do a little bit of light gaming on it. Um, because it, um, it does, basically it is a gaming, uh, case. So we might as well do a little bit of gaming on that too, you know? So I'm going to probably do a little bit of that too as well, but mostly it's going to be just for work. Anyhow, I think that's probably pretty much it. I just wanted to take this apart and show you what's inside the next box. Oh yes, I forgot. Um, let me pull this over here so I can uh, try to, uh, it came with the uh, Xbox controller, the original Xbox controller, that is. So probably this, you know, I don't think I'm going to reuse this, but I don't have the adapter that goes for the round um, to the uh, USB. I don't have that. I know there's there some out there, but they were like 10 bucks, so a little too expensive right now for me. I needed to get a motherboard, so I saved up enough just to get my uh, motherboard um, that I need at the moment. But for now, I think I'm going to call it quits. And I'm definitely going to, we're going to be, um, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you the motherboard I'm going to be using. I'm probably going to be reusing the power supply, like I said, because I think it's still reusable. I'm going to test it. I'm not going to test it. I don't know if I'll test it in, in the video itself, but I'll, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do a test in the video and see if, uh, what you guys think about it. So I'm going to take as much precaution as I can and, you know, power up the, um, power supply. So I need, I, I'm definitely want to build this computer. Um, it's going to definitely look like a gaming computer itself. But it's okay. I've seen plenty of people building them into computers, you know, using them for gaming. But mostly my primary use for this is for PC use. I'm definitely on the front of it. It does have a red and green LED, a bicolor LED. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that uh, for the power and for the hard drive. So we're definitely, I'm definitely going to um, see about reusing that. I pretty much, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else that I need to uh, go over right now at the moment. But for now, I think that's, yeah, again, that's pretty much it. Have a good one, everybody. Stay tuned for the next part of this video. We're going to go over the um, power supply. That I guess we're going to be testing that. That's going to be pretty much a, a short video anyway. So we just want to test and make sure we get 12 volt and 5 volt out of it and probably going to get the minus, five, uh, minus 12 out of it because, and we're going to probably get standby power. I'm not sure. I got to, I got to go over the uh, pin out in online and figure out what pin goes to what. So for now, I think that's about it. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. Sorry for the rambling on, you know, trying to take this apart. Hopefully I can take out the cage without destroying it. If I can't, you know, what am I going to do? You know, it's just the cage. I probably won't need it. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. I would love to keep it, but if I can't keep it, then we will we'll figure it out. Have a good one, everybody. Take care. See you until next time.